This video is brought to you by Red Magic, who sent over their new 7S Pro gaming phone, which is a phone that I'm actually pretty pumped about since this thing is arguably the most powerful Android phone on the planet. And I say that for three reasons. The first is it's powered by Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Plus chip, which has not only been overclocked to boost the performance by 10%, but because Qualcomm switched over to TSMC for manufacturing these chips, we're also seeing some massive gains in efficiency of up to 30%, which obviously is not only good for battery life, but because the chip draws less power, everything else being equal, it should technically generate less heat as well. And as we all know, when chips get hot, that's when they start to slow themselves down. Leading me to my second point, which is Red Magic is still the only manufacturer that I've seen to offer active cooling on their phones. We're not talking about a fan that you can attach to the back of the phone, but a fan inside of the phone itself at the actual heat source with cool air being sucked in through this intake and the hot air being pumped out of the side. And then finally, the third thing that kind of adds to the whole power equation is that this phone has a dedicated gaming chip inside of it called the Red Core 1 that works alongside the Snapdragon chip, handling things like audio and haptics to help lessen the load from the main chip. Now, it's not necessarily a heavy load that is taken on, but still, it's just that something extra that helps the main chip etch out more performance. But enough talking about it, right? Let's take a look at how the phone actually performs. So for your reference, here's how the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the OnePlus 10 Pro perform in the 3 d Mark Wildlife Extreme benchmark. Both phones are able to achieve a peak score of around 2600 and both throttle down to close to half of that by the time they get to the 20th loop 20 minutes in. The Red Magic 7S Pro, on the other hand, it scores a high of 2831 in that first loop, reflecting that 10% boost on the 8 Plus, but more impressively, it doesn't throttle down at all. It was pretty much flat all the way across, meaning 20 minutes into it, the 7S Pro had almost doubled the performance of the other Android phones. Now, I know what you're thinking. Like, okay, well, those are just other Android phones. What about the iPhone with the A15 Bionic chip? Well, the iPhone 13 Pro does do better on the first loop. It got a score of 3187, but the thing about the iPhone is it throttles down on the very next loop. So like the second loop in, it throttles down from 3200 all the way down to 2400, from which point it starts to slowly decline down to 22 by the time it gets to the 20th loop. Meaning 20 minutes into it, the Red Magic is doing 25% better than the iPhone. But that's just a benchmark, right? Like how does this perform in the real world? Well, there are a lot of games out there that we could test, but really the gold standard on a phone like this is Genshin Impact, where when you crank the settings all the way up, typically you see phones start dropping frames and performance around 10 to 15 minutes into it. Yet the 7S Pro didn't have any of that. Like I was playing for over 45 minutes, just waiting for this thing to throttle down, but it just kept going at a steady 60 frames per second. So this is by far and away the best performing phone I have ever tested. And when you add to that the 18 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1, it's just a beast. Now, obviously you don't need all this power for everyday stuff. If you're just gonna use it to go on Instagram, well, it's totally overkill. And there are downsides to achieving this level of performance since the open intake and the exhaust for the fan pretty much remove any chance of water and dust resistance. But in the context of gaming, which is what this phone is built for, it's kind of hard to beat. You get a 6.8 inch AMOLED display. The 16 megapixel selfie camera is underneath the screen. So you get this uninterrupted view. Although that does come at the cost of your selfies looking hazy. The screen though has a 120 Hertz refresh rate with I think a record 960 Hertz touch sampling rate. And you of course get these shoulder buttons here that you can map to pretty much anything you want. So for example, in a game like Call of Duty, you can have it to where this left button is for scope and the right one is for trigger, which just makes the phone feel more like a controller while you're playing, which to me just makes the whole gaming experience that much better. But the gaming features continue. So obviously we have a headphone jack up top, 
the USB-C port at the bottom is able to charge that 5,000 milliamp hour battery at up to 65 watts. And Red Magic still includes the fast charger in the box. Now, one of the features that you don't see every day, certainly not on a regular smartphone, is on the 7S Pro, you get not one, but two vibration motors where you have one on each side. So that way, not only are haptics stronger, but they're also just more immersive. And then in terms of the software on the phone, Red Magic has made a ton of optimizations. And one of my favorites is charge separation, where the phone could actually run off of wall power directly and avoid constantly charging the battery itself. So that way, if you're gaming for hours and hours on end, you're not constantly charging the battery, which can help preserve its health. And then of course, no gaming phone would be complete without RGB. So we have RGB on the mini fan here, and on this Supernova variant, we also get a transparent back, which lists all the different specs you get on the phone, just completing that gamer vibe. Now, in terms of the triple camera system on the back, well, it's okay. Like we took a couple of photos outdoors and they look good, but I wouldn't expect it to compete with phones that have an emphasis on cameras since the emphasis here is clearly on gaming. And that's really who this phone is for. Someone who essentially wants a smartphone and a gaming console in one, and is willing to accept some of the trade-offs in exchange for pretty much the best smartphone gaming experience you can get. I'll drop a link down below if you guys wanna learn more about this phone. Big thanks to Red Magic again for sponsoring today's video, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.